always bigger. What's your problem, Derek? No vision. <laughs> falls. With the quarantine about to lift, I finally got to plead my case to the nine, excuse me, eight, and have my own day in court. Surprisingly, given the fact that I just threw their former CEO off a balcony, they seemed pretty willing to listen. In a calm and collected manner, I explained to them my situation, my dedication to the firm, the abuse of company resources by those above my pay grade, yada yada, I don't need to bore you with the long form version. With a sound defense, and in light of the day's events, I pled that I think I deserve my job back. But as they voted, it dawned on me. Something my sister had been trying to tell me for years. What my new friend reminded me today. I didn't have a job. The job had me. I was just another fucking slave to the grind. Look, we paint our paths with the best of intentions. But at the end of the day, Sometimes it takes a brushstroke of circumstance or a deadly virus to set us on the right path again. Oh, and the incident at TSC, as they're calling it, ended up being a watershed case to finally accelerate a vaccine to prevent the symptoms of the ID7 virus, pending FDA approval, of course. You're welcome. And for the firm itself, well, they did what any corporate asshole in a corner would do. They offered me Tower's job. Finally, a seat at the big kid's table. <laughs> so, I took the gig just long enough to make an executive decision and do some good in the world. I quit. Now, I know what you're thinking. We wrapped this story up in a nice little bow and we pretty much just killed a bunch of people. I live with that. But they do say everything happens for a reason. I'm starting to believe it. Here's one more pro tip. Paint your own path to success in work, love, and life. 
before it's too fucking late.